you guys told me that you really like these stories and I wanted to bring you another one. But I wasn't really sure what I would talk to you guys about, but I think I have a good idea. So if I'm telling you these stories, I want to kind of tell them with some sort of order so you can kind of follow along. And in the last video, I told you about the very first experience I ever had playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as a professional player or, you know, you know, from going like a, as a scrub of someone who just did not understand or know the game to going to someone who at least read the rule book. <laughs> so basically, um, my next story I want to tell you about is, is, is literally following this. Um, after I learned how to play, um, I got into even more shenanigans at the fair lane at the Wizards. And playing Yu-Gi-Oh! was, like I told you before, it wasn't like I was able to play all the time. I could only play at school, or I could only play, you know, where other duelists were. So it was school, church, and maybe the library. So this particular time, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at church. And um, while I'm playing at church, you know, my girlfriend at the time was at church. So she was like, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, you're playing this card game. And I was like, yeah, it's a cool card game, Yu-Gi-Oh, blah, blah, blah. Of course, you know, little girls back in the day, you know, even even the older ones now, you know, some of them, they just don't get it. So when they look at you, they're like, you know, are you playing a children's card game? Like, what's, what's the purpose of this? What, what, or why are you even doing this? Typically, the response of any Yu-Gi-Oh player and, and I really can't, I won't speak for any. I will say typically for the Yu-Gi-Oh players that I know that were around would justify it by saying something like this. You no, know, I mean, I make hella bread, you know, selling these cards, my dog. Like some of these cards cost like $100 and shit, I just flipped them, boys. I don't even, man, I don't even fuck with the game like that, really. I just, you know, I, I, I just sell them bitches. If you got the cards, you're probably playing with the cards. There's no one who just has the cards but does not give a fuck. I didn't even bother to do all that because, I mean, what's the point of that? So I just told her, yeah, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, it's cool, whatever. She's like, okay, yeah, cool. So fast forward a couple weeks, right? She wanted to go out to the movies. She wanted to go out on a date. And I wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh that day. I had planned to play Yu-Gi-Oh that day. There's a Saturday tournament, and at the time your boy has been getting good your boy's been getting real strong in the power of the dank dimension even back then it was calling your boy's name but i thought that i was like gonna go play this tournament so i'm like okay listen i plan on going to play in this tournament it's at fairlane mall afterwards we can go to the movies but the tournament is gonna take some hours we'll be waiting there all day and she, and she gives me that line, you know, that female line, you know, where they tell you one thing, but they mean something else. So she was like, okay, cool. I can come with you and then we can go to the movies. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, I'm under the understanding that we are just going to go watch this. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm going to go play Yu-Gi-Oh and you're going to watch me play it or you can play if you want to. And then later we're going to go to the movies. She thought that I was going to go in, like, play one game and then leave to go to the movies with her. <laughs> you know, the rule when it is with Yu-Gi-Oh! and girls, you always got to pick the cards, my boy. Throw them chicks to the side. Girls is temporary. Yu-Gi-Oh!'s forever. What I end up doing, I end up playing the game, and I was doing pretty well in that tournament, for, you know, in particular. And I wasn't... Like, you know, you know how it's kind of single elimination. You can lose, you can just leave. But I was doing well, so I was sticking around. And she was getting very irritated and was like, hey, when are we going to the movies? And I was like, I told you I was coming here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. She goes, she was furious. I finished up the games. We end up going to the movies. And, you know, same old, same old rigmarole. You know, you go to the movies, you watch a little movies, you get a little hand over, a little, you know what I'm saying? Fast forward to that Sunday. That was Saturday, Sunday. I'm sitting at church, and we weren't even at our regular church. We were doing that thing where if, if, you, if, you're, if you're black or, or go to one of them, like, Church of God in Christ churches, you might know what I mean by this, but the, those churches would 
every now and again do like this. It's kind of like a collab for YouTube where they would just swap congregations and you would go to the other church and the other church would come to your church and whatever. So I'm just sitting there and out of nowhere, the usher, you know, the, the guy who's working for the Lord, you know, sitting in the corner, you know, showing people where to sit and stuff. You know, this guy hands me a note and I get this note and I read the note and the note says, I'm breaking up with you. And I look like, what the fuck? And I look over and she's just like looking at the floor, looking sad. And I'm like, what, 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 why? Like, why, why are you breaking up with me? And it dawned on me that she didn't like that whole shit that happened with the movies and Yu-Gi-Oh. I told you I was coming here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So I go over to her and I say, hey, you know, well, not immediately. Cause you know, we was at church praising the Lord, you know, hallelujah, hallelujah, you know, up in the sanctuary, etc. But I go over there eventually and I go, you know, hey, you know, why you want to break up? Like, what's, what's wrong? What's the problem? And she looked at me and was like, I can't believe that you chose Yu-Gi-Oh over me. And then I looked at her like, and I do it again. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I enjoyed telling that story, and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, I'm sure that you would hit the subscribe button. I mean, it's there. And if you also want to make sure you keep up with these videos, I don't know if you knew this, but you can crush that notification bell.